Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. We are doing a daily run today. Looks like we're playing as Blue Baby and going all the way to, I think that's the icon for Mega Satan, maybe? I don't know. Could be one of the new uh, DLC bosses as well. That might be the icon for uh, Mother. I'm not sure. Uh, Blue Baby, though, eh, we'll see how it goes. This is, <laughs> this is a character that I'm not always, uh, you know, great with. And Anarchist Cookbook is not really an item that is, uh, you know, one that I would consider top tier. But it is probably better than the poop. At least it can occasionally be used to, like, blow up, you know, tinted rocks, maybe, or something. You know, if there's something in the middle of a room you really want. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Um... It could be used here, potentially, to get some consumables. That's an option. Or up here to get that tinted rock, which I think is a much better use. Uh, if we can make it work. So we're going to pop Anarchist Cookbook. And it's going to blow up... Every okay, well, it found a secret room. Okay, uh, I've never seen those before. But let's spend a bomb here. Get a spirit heart. Maybe we use Anarchist Cookbook in this room next. Try and get some of those keys. We definitely want to make sure we're able to... Oh, actually, we're not going to have another... Yeah, okay, we're not going to get another full charge. Honestly, we probably should have just saved it for the boss and used it here, but... A um, little too late now. Get rid of the little ghosts. This is one of the more annoying bosses, I think. Or at least as far as first floor bosses go. I mean, between this, it's like this one and Ragman. <laughs> Those are the two that you don't really want to see on the first floor. They're still not, like, ridiculous. They're just, like, kind of... Hey, yep. Kind of annoying. It's just a matter of sort of getting their pattern down and getting in the, the groove of... Uh, moving in such a way that you don't get hit when they finally do attack. And the little ghost. The little ghost can just be problematic. Yep, go this way. There we go. The little ghosts at the beginning. Sometimes they uh, sometimes they get you when you're not really expecting it, or you get hit at the very end. Okay, well, at least we got a tears upgrade. Uh, we're just down to the next floor. I'm not really sure if we're supposed to be going alt path here or, or what the deal is, but we'll do what we can. Let's see. So we got... Yeah, I don't get hit by that. There we go. Clear out the little ones. They spawn more enemies, so we want to get rid of those as quickly as possible. There we go. There we go. And one more. Where are you at? Beautiful. Okay, no uh, reward for that room, unfortunately. What do we got in here? Just a chest? Okay. Eh, key and a bomb? That's always useful. All right, here's our boss. Uh, I also think as Blue Baby, you definitely want to roll Angel Deals. With how good Angel Deals are now, and with the fact that we don't have to give away, like, essentially all of our HP. Also, there's a Tinted Rock right here. We'll take advantage of that. Uh, you know what? Let's go fight the boss right away. Why not? Uh, and I will use Anarchist Cookbook here. On the off chance that it gets that Tinted Rock over there, it did not. Instead, we took damage on probably the easiest boss in the game, but whatever. Another tiers upgrade. I'm not even going to go into the deal with the devil. I'm just going to completely ignore it. We're going angel deals. I want to essentially make sure that our next deal will be an angel deal. And if we can get one more bomb, we have another Tinted Rock available to us over there. Um, this is an annoying room. Just because you have nowhere to go. Okay. Once you get them out behind, uh, once you get them out from behind all the pots, then it's not so bad, but... At least initially, it's a little annoying. Uh, I'm loving the fact that we've gotten two tiers upgrades already, though. That's fantastic. Now, if we can just get a little damage to go with it, we'll be in, uh, pretty good shape. Or, like, a really good tier effect. Something like a Holy Light. Which, considering we're going Angel Deals, you know, there's some uh, there's some options there. Some potential to get something pretty good. Uh, I don't think we bother going to the shop. And we save any bomb we, ha we find for a Tinted Rock rather than looking for a secret room. Okay, heart doesn't do me any good. Uh, we'll check the item room, though. 
get rid of these. This is another one of those rooms that's like, it's not hard, it just takes forever. <laughs> And Anarchist Cookbook really wouldn't speed it up since it's such a big room that the bombs aren't super likely to actually hit enemies. <laughs> Just kind of spawn everywhere and not do much. <laughs> but we'll see. At least our rate of fire is good, so it's not too, too bad. Uh, do we check the cursed room? That's an interesting question, isn't it? Um, I'm going to shoot the poops as well. On the off chance we get a petrified poop like that. Which means any poops we shoot have a much higher chance to actually drop useful things. Like pennies. If I'd known that we were going to get petrified poop, I probably would have stuck with the poop as our spacebar item. But too late now. Uh, what do we got in here? Curse of the Tower. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take it. Maybe this is a bad idea. But, we're going to do it. And you know what? We're going to check the cursed room, too. Um, and then I'm going to use Anarchist Cookbook right here to... Okay. That actually ended up being highly worth it. Much to my surprise, uh, that is not what I would consider a top-tier <laughs> decision. <laughs> uh, it worked out for us, but like that was that was probably not the best idea in the world. Okay, um, and it looks like we're not going alt path, so this must be, this icon must be the new icon for Mega Satan, which is, oh no, it can't be that either, because we've already fought, it's, it's the lamb, I'll bet it's the icon for the lamb, it's gotta be, let's peek in here, what do we got, uh, nothing I want to mess around with, uh, I think Demon Beggar is a little too, uh, like, the risk-reward there, considering you're giving away hearts that can't be regenerated, I think the risk-reward there is just not... Uh, it's not a good balance. You're giving away too much. And the probability of getting something fast enough that's actually worth it is relatively low. So, we've already kind of expended our luck on that last cursed room. Or, I guess the cursed room on the last floor, because the most recent cursed room was pretty bad, but... Uh, whatever. Come out and play. There we go. We definitely are in need of some damage, though. Our damage is not looking so good. We're on the third floor so far, and uh, so far I haven't actually seen a damage upgrade. Ooh, that was just terrible damage. All right, we're going to hide in a the corner. There we go. All right, fair amount of money. We also have petrified poop, so it's worth it to shoot the poops. Let's see. All right, there is our item room and our shop. And looks like we got a little mini pin. Uh, Dark Bomb. Dark Bomb is actually amazing. That's a top tier item as Blue Baby. For sure. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's a top tier item to begin with. But as Blue Baby, yes, please. That, like, it's that's as good as you can get. Uh, Pill is friends till the end. Which is pretty whatever. Uh, we're not quite at... 15 cents yet, but if we can get up to 15 cents before the floor ends, I'll go back and check the shop. Right now, probably not worth spending a key on, but that may happen at some point. There we go. And we got another big room. Dark Bum can take advantage of these uh, red hearts that Blue Baby can't actually pick up. Hopefully turn them into, you know, some black hearts or some decent pills or... Any number of things. I think I think blue, I think it can drop cards now too. Yep, look at that. On cue. Can drop cards now too. So pills and cards. And also black cards. I think it's like a roughly 40% chance now to pay out with a black heart. And considering those red hearts are completely useless as blue baby, since you can't have red hearts, uh, you know, that's very good. It gives you a chance to turn things that are useless into things that are potentially useful. And also. Uh, oh, that was just terrible damage, but Curse of the Tower doing a little work for us. All right, we got a fistula. Um, do we use Anarchist Cookbook here? I feel like the answer is probably no. If we're being smart, or maybe yes. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, that was pretty much... It, it worked out. <laughs> we ended up not taking damage. 
but we probably should have taken damage. We want to get rid of these guys so we actually have room to get around without getting, uh, you know, trapped. This is only a hard boss if you let too many things onto the screen at a time. In general, not so difficult. All right, that is a useless item for us. I mean, it gives us one heart, but like, whatever. All right, down to the next floor we go. We're just going to keep going. Uh, how are we doing on boss rush time? Nee, not so great. We're like, uh, I'd, I'd say a little behind schedule, but not too, too bad. Oh, that was such terrible damage. But the good news is we get hit once and it clears the rest of the room for us. So, you know, that's something at, le at least. I mean, we do want to move with a purpose because on dailies, boss rush is a very large score addition. I think it's like 5,000 just for beating boss rush. Something like that. Yo, can you chill for a minute? My dude. You're just, you're, you're, it's too much. Okay, what do we got here? Two of spades. Let's just use it right away. Take the hermit card with us. Pop over here. Uh, sure. Yes. Binky's good. Another rate of fire increase. Which, I mean, sure. Like, at this point, I don't need rate of fire. I need damage. Because each of our individual shots is so, like, pitiful. But also petrified poop doing work here, getting us all sorts of good stuff. Feels like walking on sunshine, kind of whatever. Ooh, here we go. So we're going to reroll this. Midas touch is interesting. Hmm. I think we'll keep going. Yes. I'm glad we decided to do that. Technology zero. Amazing item. One of the better items. Uh, I'd... I'd probably put tech zero at it at like an s tier honestly like it's just so good it is such a significant damage increase just overall so very very happy to have it now if we can get something that gives us spread tiers like um triple shot or even like dunce cap could be pretty good believe it or not um, we'll check the shop as well, see what we got. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything in here that's going to be too useful. I, I'll buy a Spirit Heart just to keep our HP up a bit. And then we're just going to move on. Going to head this way, and we're basically going to go to the boss. Try and keep our boss rush dreams alive for whatever they're worth. go okay boss should be coming up pretty soon like we have to be pretty close okay there we go beautiful grab the key keep going and the trick to tech zero is to let the lasers do their thing or let the little zappy bits do their thing so you gotta kinda the way this item works is it, like, connects these, like, static things between your tiers. So you need to spread your tiers out in order to get the full effect. But when it works, it does some pretty good damage, you know, all things considered. With that said, I would still very much like to see an actual damage upgrade at some point over the course of this run. That would be lovely. Like, I don't, I don't think that's asking for too much. Also, don't get hit by the homing tear ball things, whatever they are. There's too many. Okay, keep those away. And there we go. Big horn defeated. That took a little while, though. All right, and there's our deal with the angel. I'll take roid range. Speed upgrade is always useful. Uh, and honestly, Eden Soul, significantly better than anything we got right now. And I'm going to fight the Angel just to give us increased Angel. Uh, also, I think there's a score increase for... Ooh, you got me. I think there's a score increase for uh, defeating the boss, the, the two Angel statues as well. I seem to remember that being a thing. Maybe I'm wrong. 
but I would very much like to lock in my deal with the angel chance. And to do that, it helps a lot to have those key pieces. Okay. Oh, you got me. That's fine. You're about to be dead. You, you've been destroyed. Okay, take the key piece, and down we go. Next floor, Eden Soul. Uh, it takes 12 rooms to fully charge, but once it does, it will drop. It will essentially create two item pedestals for the item room that you are working, uh, that you're in. So, like, if you use it in an item room, it'll pull from the item room item pool. If you use it in the shop, it'll pull shop items, you know, etc., etc. So, I think the thing to do might be to use it in, like, a cursed room, which pulls from... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of decent items in the cursed room, honestly. You got uh, many different things. Everything from the pact, you've got uh, you got a couple different damage upgrades in there. I think you can get the mark. Um, you can get Curse of the Tower, but we already have that. Uh, you can get Cursed Eye, which is pretty whatever. But other than that, it's basically all like guppy items and good items. So I'm thinking that the, what we probably want to do is get it fully charged and then use it in a curse room. That seems like a really good idea to me. Also, timing-wise, uh, we're going to need to go a little faster if we want to make boss rush. Let's just keep it moving. If we can find... I mean, I do have enough money right now to buy an item in the shop, so we should check that as well. These guys are real annoying. Okay, check the shop. Uh, I'll take a battery, baby. Seems like a good pickup. And now we just got to find our item room. Which is probably going to be somewhere around here. We could also just abandon the idea of boss rush. Which I don't particularly like. But um, it's not looking great right now as it is. Just because, like, we need damage. We can't clear rooms fast enough. Alright, we got a mini boss. Which is, like, fine, but... I mean, the good news is our rate of fire is, I believe, at the cap right now, which is lovely, but... Okay, bombs. Yep, that's all good. We'll take it. Item room basically has to be over here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> yeah, careful. Okay, we've done it. What do we got? <laughs> That's not helpful. Okay. Um, get rid of those. Money's also good. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at this and going like, there is no way that we're going to make boss rush. Unless we get like something absolutely incredible or we get just like super good, uh, like super lucky. Uh, D20. Okay. Uh, what's this? Is this like a... Yeah, you explode it and it gives you things. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, first of all, you go to the cursed room. And then you go back and you get the D20. Like, our, uh, Eden soul is fully charged. So, go into the cursed room. Uh, throw down a bomb. Might as well check this, right? Dude, the spirit hearts are insane. We use this here. We get Dark Prince's Crown, which is completely useless on Blue Baby, I think, and Little Horn. Those are two items that I would not rate as extremely good. But then we will run over real quick and just go get the D20. Maybe we can find a use for it. Um, is, yeah, Man, is it at all possible for us to make Boss Rush? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just... I don't think it is, which means we should probably do the boss trap room and clear the entirety of this floor instead. Because, like, I just don't think we're fast enough. We need to damage much sooner. 
And we still don't have it. I mean, we're still on our base damage, which is pretty hilarious if you think about it. Um, there's a pretty solid chance that that could be our... S no, it couldn't. Uh, there's a pretty good chance that... Nope. Hmm. Secret room here? Probably? Nope. Well, I don't know. We're just moving on. Let's go fight the boss. Get out of town. And this is an annoying boss, for sure. Uh, I'm going to spend a bomb here, and then we'll do that. Would you be so kind as to please die? Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, something's wrong pill doesn't help me at all. Does little horn not work? It's supposed to bring up like a little... The hand of big horn to stomp on bosses. Maybe it doesn't work because he's over a pit or something like that. If so, that's rather annoying. Or maybe I'm just thinking of a different item? I don't know. But like that glowing shot should be doing a bunch of damage. Yeah. It just doesn't seem to affect this enemy. This is terrible. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's fair, you got me. Okay. This, yep. Curse the tower. Why? All right. Well, it's fine. Uh, grab blood clot. That is technically a damage upgrade. And then the Bible. Okay. Um, do we go with the Bible or the D20? I think you go with the D20 for sure. We also blow this up. Take out this uh, other angel. Get the other half of the key piece. Essentially trying to make sure that we will be fighting him, uh, or not fighting him, but that we will be able to, there we go, have more deals with the angel. All right, down we go. Okay, that doesn't help. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, this run right now is like a 6. We've got some good stuff, but also we have our base damage. <laughs> we have not actually gotten a damage stat increase <laughs> for the entirety of this. Uh, you know what? We're doing one of these. Make use of that D20. We got a range upgrade and a sun card. Sun card's pretty good. Uh, we'll just use it right here because this is an annoying room. Um, and then we learn where to go and where not to go. So we know that our secret room is approximately here. Okay. That doesn't help. Uh, do we check the cursed room? I think we do. We've had pretty good luck overall with cursed rooms. That was not one of them, but that's fine. Uh, we've already missed boss rush, so we should explore the entirety of this floor, I think. Also, grab a free bomb, why wouldn't you? Pop in here. Get a coin. We do have an arcade we can go look at. So we'll, we'll at least peek at it. See what's in here. Okay, so I think what you do is you just blow these two on. These two up right here. You take this stuff. And then you just keep it moving. Item room gives you game. You're killing me. I'm not even going to pick that one up. I'm not even picking it up. We're just moving on with our lives. I'm. This game is actually insulting me right now. You've given me several spacebar items, all of which are atrocious. I mean, to be fair, D20 is okay. Eden Soul is, like, pretty okay. But beyond that, I'm going out on a limb and saying that uh, blowing up those bombs... Or blowing up those like gold tinted rocks is not a great use of uh, your bombs. They it seems they usually seem to pay out with like two coins, which is not enough to justify picking them up. Also, there's nothing in the shop we want either. 
Oh. Yeah. Yep. Keep keep those away. Please stay away from me. Are we are we okay now? We're okay. There we go. Did you see that masterful weaving between spikes? That was glorious. Uh, this feels like a secret room, and it is. Not a very good one. It's just a secret room with enemies. So, not exactly what I was hoping for, if we're being honest. But, uh, hey, you work with what you got. And now we're going to go fight Mom with uh, base damage. So that should be fun. I mean, at least our other... Uh, basically, everything about the run is completely fine, with the exception of our damage. That's the only thing we're missing. We just need, like, a damage upgrade or two, and then we're, like, set. So, all things considered, it could be worse. You know? Unfortunately, we are running out of items. Like, there's not going to be a whole lot more opportunities to actually get items. Which is not great. You curse of the tower. Very rude. You, uh, you used yourself on me. I boomed myself. We've got some good tier effects. Dude, just, it's all the worst. Thankfully, the negative is actually a damage upgrade. And the miter is an honestly good item. So, we'll take that. We're down to the next floor. We've gotten our first damage upgrade via the negative. This seems cool. Two spacebar items. Both of which are fairly okay. Daddy Longlegs is amazing. Uh, Multidimensional Baby is like, it's all right. But Daddy Long Legs, that's a great item. Just constant passive damage. You know? Just shows up and stomps on things. That's what you love to see. There we go. One more wave? Nope, that was the last one. Okay. Let's try peeking over this way. And then we're going to take full advantage of the fact that we have Petrified Poop to shoot all the poops. Because even though... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I was going to say, even though they don't normally... Wow, we got essentially three spirit and black hearts from shooting poops in that room. That's incredible. I'm just going to use the death card here. Uh, what does this do? Holy crown, walk the path of the saint. Hold on. We got to check this out. Holy crown... Causes item rooms and shops to appear in the cathedral. That would be awesome if we were going to the cathedral. However, we are not. So, unfortunately, that is not a particularly great item. Or a, a particularly useful trinket for us. There is, however, a tinted rock right here. With a fair amount of money. Which is worth picking up on dailies, even if you don't actually need it anymore. Just for a score multiplier. An Empress card, self-sacrifice room. Uh, I guess we'll go down now. Is it at all feasible for us to make hush? That's an interesting question. Maybe if we really move. And we can probably do that, if we're being honest. I think if we just start, like... If we rush, we might be able to make Hush. And Hush is also a pretty significant um, increase in your score. I think you get 5k for Boss Rush and 10k for Hush? Or maybe 75? Uh, 7.5k? I, I don't remember exactly. But I remember it being a, a worthwhile amount. Where, like, if you can pull it off, you want to do Boss Rush and Hush on every single... Uh, daily run you can because the the score multiplier is very significant okay however if we're gonna make hush we gotta be moving pretty quick we got less than three minutes to clear this floor and the next floor which is not great okay thank you 
pick that up, Dark Bomb. Alright, I'm just gonna keep moving. Fight the boss. This is a boss that thankfully we can defeat easily. Okay. Speed upgrade. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but eh, it's fine. Uh, check out the arcade. What do we got? Okay, we're just going to blow these up. Take what we can get and move on. Oh, okay. Yep. Keep moving. They've found our secret room for us. So we'll probably want to go back and check that out real quick. There can be useful stuff in there. You never know. You know, like you find like a skeleton key or something in a secret room. What is this? Hold on. Is this a glitched item of some sort? It looks like it's Revelation. You. Is this... This is an item that's going to give me random effects, isn't it? This could potentially be great. <laughs> Maybe. It seems to have boosted all of my stats for one room. Or at least... For the current room. We'll see if those stats stay. They did, dude. If it always gives me permanent stat boosts, then the run is saved. Because my stats went up and they did not go back down after leaving the room. Which seems really good. But I have a feeling that this is a glitched item that... Uh, we did not like an actual bug, but like it's it's a glitched item, which is a thing in the game that's intentional by the, on the part of the developers. It's hard to explain. Um, but... If it works the way that I think it's going to, it's essentially going to give a random effect every time. And it could do just about anything. So, we'll see. Like, we use this, and this time it it farted. And that was all that happened. There was no stat upgrade to go with it. We've got 40 seconds to defeat this room and the next. Oh, crap. We got 10 seconds. If we pop this and we go real quick, there is a minuscule chance that we may be able to defeat... Nope, too late. Too slow. Still hit again. Dude, I'm never, I'm never taking Curse of the Tower ever again. Uh, what is this? On the right, Star of Bethlehem. Okay, so that does not... It's okay, but I think Sensor's better. Uh, alright. Do I check the Cursed Room? Do I dare? I think what we do instead... Well, no, we couldn't... No, we've already found our secret room, so... Sensor's pretty okay, though. You know, slows down everything within this little aura. Can potentially save you from some damage if you're uh, if you're lucky. And now I think we're out. We're just we're we're going down to the next floor, and we're gonna just kind of hope for the best. Um, I'm not super optimistic about this run, to be honest. Oh, yep. Okay. I deserve that. I was like, the first one took so long. Nah. The first one took forever. The follow-up ones, not so much. Uh, Eternal Heart's good, though. That will be an HP upgrade when we get down to the next floor. Well, it'll be an extra heart. I wouldn't necessarily call it an HP upgrade, since it's not, you know, it's just another spirit heart. But still, it's better than nothing. If we can actually make it that far, which is still a pretty big if, <laughs> considering uh, what kind of situation we're in right now. This feels like it could be a tinted room, or a, a secret room. Thank you, Dark Bum. Go get that one as well. What do you got for me? Thank you, Dark Bum. Okay, the demon beggars don't really do me any good. Unless I want to, unless I can find, like, some form of invincibility. 
like a walking on sunshine pill or a chariot card or something like that. But for the most part, not super helpful. I am loving the fact, though, that the game is like, here, have a bunch of hearts to restock after you have been uh, pretty much, like, ruined for the last several, you know, we're, we're back in it. HP is still not amazing, but it could be so much worse. And there's our boss fight. And I do not feel the need to stick around on this floor. We're just going to pop in here. We're going to do this. It did nothing. And we're going to fight the two bosses. Okay. Thank you, Sensor, for making it easy to avoid all these little tears. That How did I not get hit by that one? I don't know. Either way, Satan defeated. Oh, not quite. Just kidding. There's a, a second phase, which I totally know because I've done this fight approximately a thousand times. So why was I like, oh, yeah, the fight's over. We've done it. We've also just lost all of our HP. Give me that. All right. Um, do we try and scrounge up another heart or two? Probably not. I think we just go down here, grab the battery. Maybe we do this room, just this one extra room. A lot of blue fires in here. You know, maybe we blow them up and see if we can get... Oh, you know what? Come to think of it, though. I just remembered. Dailies are not technically on hard mode. Which means the drop rate from blue fires and tinted heart, uh, tinted rocks is like it's way better than a normal. Uh, now, with that said, do we want to spend a ton of hearts or whatever? Probably not. I'm gonna throw a bomb here. It did reach the two blue heart or the two blue fires I was going for. However, that was dumb of me. That was very dumb of me. Stay away. Stay away. Okay. This did not go well. Thank you for being a card that redeems me a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, steam sale. Sure. And you know what? We're going... Uh, we're going to go down to the next floor. Right now, we'll, you know, quit while we're ahead, so to speak. Uh, because it will be the dark room, we should have our choice of four deal with the devil items. So hopefully one of them is a damage upgrade. As I said, it's really the only thing about this that we still need. No damage upgrades. Okay. Uh, however, there's Twisted Pair. You gain two familiar demons that stay by your side and fire shots in the same direction. They deal roughly 40% of your damage. So this seems kind of like a damage upgrade, and it's an item I've never used. So we're going to... Ooh, and it synergizes very well with uh, Tech Zero. So this could be good. Uh, also, we'll use this spacebar item thing, whatever it is. Nobody really knows, but we're using it anyway. <laughs> I do think that uh, the the twin familiars was uh, very worthwhile. It feels like our damage output is much better than it was mere moments ago. Which is good, because we're going to need it on this floor. This is not an easy floor. This is, thankfully, the last floor. So after this, we won't have to deal with any of these guys anymore. But, uh, you know, eh, still... And we're doing good damage with the uh, the static tiers, for sure. There we go. And we're getting lots of Spirit Hearts. Curved Horn. Yes. Thank you. That is a damage upgrade. Thank you, Curved Horn, for appearing. I always love to see you. One of the best trinkets in the game. Maybe not the best, but it's real close. That was terrible damage. Okay, I do regret my decision to take uh, 
Curse of the Tower, by the way. In retrospect, that was not a good call. Also, I think there's a third Mega Fatty over here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. However, piece of cake. Okay, the run is actually fairly okay now. We've got the damage we needed. We've got great tier effects. Like, our, our actual damage stat isn't as high as I would like it to be. But we have good tier effects to make up for it. So, now we're probably okay. Now we just need to keep our HP up and not get uh, killed. You know, just need to not take a lot of damage and kind of let, uh, let it do its thing. Where are you popping up? Over here. Okay. One down. Two down. Adversaries real annoying. Yep. Two of them incredibly annoying. One of them not so bad, but two is like just awful. All right, we have three HP remaining. That is admittedly less HP than I would like to have. Uh, I'm going to spend a bomb right here in hopes that you that will drop one. It, it did not. This room, thankfully, should be easy. These guys, not too bad. Early game bosses don't scare me. Okay. Uh, I think there's a fairly decent chance this is a secret room. Nope. You never really know for sure. And on this, it could technically be like anywhere. So... Sometimes you just gotta guess and hope for the best. This is an awful room. Keep these things far, far away from me, please. There we go. We also got a luck down pill and a teleport to a deal with the devil that does give us Bob's curse, but doesn't give me anything else useful. Even if I did have the HP, I probably wouldn't spend it on those items at this point. Now, if there was, like, a pact in there, this is... A, yeah, those enemies. I still haven't really figured them out yet. So, HP again, beginning to look pretty dicey. I'm beginning to grow worried. We do still have to defeat a boss with this as well. Thank you for the spirit heart. Headless horseman enemies. A little annoying. Not too, too bad, though. Only annoying because there's a bunch of them, but we're good. We'll just let the uh, flies do the work there. And now we basically fight the boss and hope for the best. Um, let's throw out a bomb here. And a bomb here. I'm just looking for a secret room. Here, perhaps? Nope. I don't know. I don't know what we'd really be looking for anyway, but we're going to fight the lamb and basically just hope for the best at this point. We do have Curse of the Tower, which in theory could actually win the run for us, because if we take damage, we might just be able to essentially destroy him via Curse of the Tower. It is possible. Or we could just, like, fight him and not take any damage and do that as well, because we're pretty much amazing at this game. There we go. We have successfully finished the run. Uh, rank not very good, because we didn't do boss rush or hush. Uh, but that's fine. Also took a lot of bad damage, but that's okay. We did finish the run. I'm happy with it. And that is going to do it for today's episode. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.